Hi guys, what's up? My name is Jared, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I build my own home lab using VMware Workstation. I secure my lab using PFSense Firewall, and I use Kali Linux for the management machine. So, let's have a look. The first thing we need to do is download the PFSense Firewall. I'm just going to go to pfsense.org, download, select AMD64, the ISO, I'm going to select Germany and hit download. The next thing we need to do is go to Kali.org. I'm going to download the VMware image, so click on download, virtual machines, VMware 64. I'm going to hit this one. So now that both of those are downloaded, let's open up VMware and configure the virtual network. Open up VMware, click on edit, virtual network editor, click change settings. Click on add network so i'm just going to choose the next one that's available click ok untick these two at the bottom and click apply and ok okay so let's get the vm built for the firewall click on file new virtual machine click next browse select the iso for the pfsense firewall hit open next next again next hit customize hardware i'm going to up the memory to one gig I'm also going to add another network adapter. Click on network adapter, click finish. I'm gonna select the new network that we've just created. So mine was called VMNet3. And click on close and finish. So the VM should automatically turn on. So it's booted up, just hit accept. I'm going to install PFSense. Basically just run through the setup, hit OK, install, yes, OK again. You need to hit spacebar here to select, spacebar, click OK, and then you move, move over and hit yes. Okay, so setup has finished, let's just move over and hit yes, so that will actually reboot the VM and reboot. The firewall has rebooted. The next thing we need to do is configure the interface. So hit two, then hit two again. I'm gonna set the IP address for the gateway. So with 10.10.40.254, hit enter, it's a slash 24, hit enter again, enter, do you want any of DHCP? Yes, I do. I want to start the range at 40.0 or 40.40, 40. and I'm going to 40.80, so that's when it's going to stop. Do you want to revert? It's fine. Perfect, so the firewall is ready. The next thing we need to do is create the Kali Linux VM. Click File. Now the VM we downloaded from the Kali Linux website is the actual image of the VM, so we can just hit Open and select the VM. I'm gonna edit this virtual machine. What you need to do is then put it into the virtual network that you created earlier. So click on Network Adapter, hit Custom, and then select the network that you've created previously. So mine was VM that three. Hit OK and we will power this on. Log in with the default credentials, which is Kali and Kali. Let's first of all check that we can talk to the firewall. So we have an IP address in the range. So we can talk to the firewall. Let's log into it and configure the firewall rules. Now remember, I want to block access to my home network. So 10.10.40.254 login using admin and the password is pfsense and so hit next next you can just run through the setup here if you want i'm just going to go up to the firewall and um, the rules what we need is a, a lan rule so i'm just going to click on add and the action is to block. It's going to be on LAN interface, IPv4, it's going to be any protocol. The source is going to be the LAN network, so all of the 10.10.40.0 range. And the destination is going to be a network. So I'm going to type in the, the subnet 
for my home network. I'm gonna log the traffic so I can see it. So block, yes, save and apply. Okay, so that is the firewall we created. The next thing we need to do is to configure DNS as part of the DHCP scope. So click on services, go down to DHCP server. Uh, under DNS, just type in some DNS servers. Four, four, that's fine. And hit save. And so I am actually just going to quickly reboot this VM. Okay, log in again using the default uh, credentials. Cali and Cali. Let's try and ping. Is that for a second? Let's try and ping Google. Okay, so that looks like it's responding. Let's try and browse the web. Okay, perfect. 0.1, let me see if I can access my home router. No, so that's it, the home lab is complete. The lab is behind a PFSense firewall. It can get out to the internet, so this is the perfect place for you if you're studying for new exams or you, you need a safe place to build VMs or anything. This is what you can do. This is really, really easy. So if you have any questions at all, and just drop them in the comment box below. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this, then please consider subscribing. And I guess I will see you in the next one.